welcome. We have come together tonight to celebrate, to praise, and to learn. I'm sitting here next to my son. We're coming from the hospital and I am drowning. He just left his wife and kids and moved in with me. Then he collapsed. I call 911. Now they tell us he is having heart failure. God, oh God, how do I help my boy? Is this going to kill me? No. No, no, no. They said you can live with this. You just have to manage it. The doctor says there is no cure. I don't even know what that means. One minute I am healthy and the next, I'm a sick man. How did this happen? And my poor mama, my kids, my kids. How do I, do I have to tell them? How much is this gonna cost? Why, why, why me? Why now? there's a familiar story in the Gospels of a woman with the issue of blood. She was so desperate for a cure, so desperate for relief that the Bible says she spent all of her money going from doctor to doctor to no avail and as such her condition limited her ability to live a full life. Because she was considered unclean, this woman with the issue of blood could not participate fully and freely in her own life or in the life of the world around her. Because of her uncleanness, she isn't even called by her name. The Gospels record that 12 years into her suffering, she fixed it in her mind. She mustered up enough courage and she collected enough energy to attempt to live a full life. This woman with the issue of blood believed down in her soul as she said to herself, if I can just touch Jesus's cloak, if I can but just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made well. And friends, that's what palliative care does. You see that word palliative comes from that Latin word palliar, meaning to cloak or to cover people, we cover them with care. We demand and receive treatment with the human dignity that does not leave upon a diagnosis. That's what we do with what we know. We educate others. We 
advocate for others. We raise awareness for others. We provide for others. We attend to the suffering of others because living well matters to God. So living well should matter to us. Amen. But